nothing but respect for these competitors. Make no mistake, I am cocky in prediction. I am confident in preparation, but I am always humble in victory hey, or defeat. I say I'm everything and more, and you can't tell me any different. You knew rap was cool, but you far from competition. The best white rapper to emerge is not 11. Send me suicidal beats, I get them <clears throat> Trying to get my voice back, but gonna be uh, ironically speaking tomorrow at Prove It's <clears throat> Keto Academy. And never have sinus issues, but last two days I've been speaking like this and feeling like I sound. These people and friends, when everybody think I'm responsible for their ends, when nobody relates, when they act like you know, cameras all in my face, just tell us where you from, what's the reason you do it, who inspires your soul, who's your biggest influence, and every time I say go, I don't know what you want, just cause you know what you found, I just know that when I'm down, ain't nobody around, I understand what it is, I'm in touch with my sense, nobody love me, now they all do, that's as real as it gets, it's the way that it goes, suggest you wait for your time, get your arm off my shoulder, leave me you know, man, I'm fine. See, I don't know where I'm going, but I know what I see. I don't have it all plotted, but I know where I'll be. So what a lot of people don't know uh, about the last two and a half years of my journey is I basically just completely cut myself off from BMX, my sponsorships, doing demos, everything that I knew, which how I made money, I just stopped. And it was all for a new dream of mine, a new passion that I had no plan, I just had the vision and was gonna do everything I could to make that happen. And now, fast forwarding uh, to 2019, now we got Brian and myself, and we're heading out to Orlando to speak at an event for a new sponsorship I've acquired. And um, yeah, we got, we'll be sharing more about that, I guess, along the way. But yep. this is uh, yeah, pretty cool. It's a manifestation of all the decisions I've made that were tough. Um, kind of screwed me in the beginning, you know, turning down sponsorships and different things that I didn't really align with and didn't want to be a part of. And now I'm really glad I did that because it's paying off and um, a little bit more than I ever expected. So stoked and then get to have this guy with me as well. So. It's, it's all good. It's all fun. See, I don't know where I'm going, but I know what I see. I don't have it all plotted, but I know where I'll be. You don't know what I felt for pain. And you don't see just how far I am. Hey, so many feelings I feel, so much emotion I write. Too many people in front, but yet I never lose sight. I see the reason I'm here. I feel the vibe of the earth. I was sent by higher power, but still never at church. I just know what I want. I just feel that I need to let my mind find some rest, mental comfort and peace. And I know what you want. You want to come with success. You want to hear me blow up. You want to tell me I'm next. You want the fruits of my labor, because they're finally ripe. I work myself after death when it's sleeping at night. What's a friend at the club? And what's a text even mean when they hit you? What's up? What's a person even saying when they say they just chilling? Your life is good. You didn't put honey in it with sugar. Awesome. And then I just dropped my liquor. No, that's okay. I've only drank one pack of ketones today, so I'm sure I have well, a Well, I got you an electrolyte. Thank you. And water. Yeah, but I'll hold it for you until you have your stuff. That's amazing. Room key already? Um, all right, so this is Brian. Hello. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, do we need a map? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's for you. Better prove them all wrong. You better show them your worth. Better prep for the worst so mom can live off your work. Now I prove them all wrong and I show them my worth. Prep I myself see people, and I used to do this, like strive to do something on self. But like, you know, Gary talks about it, like, how can I, how can I, like, improve or do better? Like, but instead, of, like, how can I help you? And ever since I, like, changed my mindset and, like, all my efforts go into, you know, the mission, which my mission is to serve and support, it's like, I just did that uh, live with an RDN from New Jersey yesterday on Facebook, and she was just thrilled with everything I'm doing, but like just over the moon. And it was like interesting because before when I was riding, I like solely focused on competition, I don't really cared. Right. Like, 
until my story came out when I got diagnosed and all that. And it was like, oh, you're still writing, you're sharing your story. And it just took a couple of years to really register what I was doing and should have been, should be focusing on. It was like getting letters like that, it's just sick. How dope. Some water bottle action. What's in this? Oh shit, there's a ton of flavors in there. I can't wait to try these, like with ice, avocado, and like almond milk or coconut milk, like unsweetened. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of like protein powder in there, like vanilla or something, just to get like a little snack. Oh, but, like, yeah. Dude, they're so good with just water. Life's a peach and fairy dust. Holy grail. I can't wait for you to try all these too. You don't know what I felt for pain. You don't see just how far I came. See, I don't know where I'm going, but I know what I see. I don't have it all plotted, but I know where I'll be. You don't know what I felt for pain. You don't see just how far I came. So we just got to Orlando for Prove It's Keto Academy and more event and Really, this trip is just a manifestation of a lot of different things. A lot of different things I share about and I'm all about walking my talk and I don't share about things that I don't implement in my life. And again, this this whole trip is centered around Prove It and our partnership, which I, until now, haven't shared about. I started out on self. You know, I started out, I wanted to become a professional mix athlete. I worked, I sacrificed, I envisioned, I dreamed. Everything I did was my energy going into that goal. And I made that happen. And along the way, a lot of things have happened to me on my health, my family, my friends, my mental state, uh, injuries. And it's really taught me a lot about life, about myself, and about uh, my contribution to the world. And I never thought of my life like that, like having a, an impact on um, humanity. And now, through creating a name for myself worldwide with BMX, I've been doing the same with you know my purpose, which is to serve and support people. And you know I'm really passionate about nutrition and mindset. I decided to leave competition after third third brain tumor diagnosis. It gave me a lot of clarity on what was working and what wasn't working in terms of my purpose. And I, I risked everything that I knew, everything that I was doing to make an income to, to provide for myself, uh, my my identity, which was a huge mental task to get through. Um, I, I don't think I talk about that uh, enough, and that's the point of this this video is to really share what's in my mind. And a lot of people will say, you know, how do you stay so positive? And I'm not always positive. I strive to be, but things happen. And when I decided to move away from BMX competition, that's all I ever worked for in my life and all I was doing for the last, you know, at that point, um, you know, 10 years or more. And so there was this identity crisis of who am I if I'm not the BMX athlete? Like, what do I do in my life? Get your arm off my shoulder, leave me alone, man, I'm fine. See, I don't know where I'm going, but I know what I see. I don't have it all plotted, but I know where I'll be. Jackie refers to it as breaking up with my first love, and that's why I was going through the struggle I was mentally with that whole identity crisis aspect. And so, just to hear other people's stories, and like even Brian, you know, with his his journey removing a significant amount of weight, and then meeting people that only knew that version of him rather than the past version, you know, it's 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 relatable to me. And I went through the same thing with like, well, who am I if I'm no longer riding a bike? You know, I'm just this dude who has overcome and lives with brain tumors today, but no one's really gonna take value out of what I have to say or care. But it's not about that, it's about the willingness to share value and to help people and um, yeah, that's what ultimately led uh, Brian and I here today and being introduced to this amazing community and everything that we're doing and a part of and it's, it's, uh, it's, I mean, it's cliche to say, but it's an honor to be a part of it just because it's something that I think needs to be practiced more of walking your talk, but really having a purpose and a purpose to help people rather than just you know yourself it's it's bigger than just each one of us individually so today has been a great day we're just chilling outside the balcony soaking up some florida sun looking over the pool and <clears throat> just resting on my voice for tomorrow and we got a, a later meeting tonight with a team and then the bruins are playing game two they crush game one game two is tonight so We'll be checking that out and then just uh, see what the rest of the week and weekend has. I'm really excited and appreciate you guys joining along and uh, we'll see what we get into. And I'm sure my voice will improve and uh, I'll have a great talk. So we're trying to find the Prove It HQ media team. Uh, apparently they're scattered around the site, but uh, really just talking to them about getting a game plan about the content strategy 
you know, different uh, series that we can do, different pieces of content, different themes, um, trying to bring value more to the Prove It community and um, outside of the community to bring them in to the Keto conversation and just figure out um, a game plan. Uh, I, yeah, well, actually, I'm taking four months off. piece of advice is just focus on what you want to do, create the life that you envision, work hard, don't worry about other people and just love what you're doing and I appreciate all the support, I heard you're a fan of my riding as well and all the things I'm doing today so keep it up, you know, remember that uh, your reality is a manifestation of your choices. So happy recovery fund, it helped me out with the original brain tumor surgery, medical care, they flew my parents out and put them up in a hotel as well. We're in Orlando, we got some woo girls next door. I'm trying to like not lose my voice. I don't know, I'm feeling alright, but we got some essential oils going. We got the Bruins playing. It is what it is, but I should be fine tomorrow, so that's the, that's the goal. <laughs>